Hello, Jose Angel. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Are fine, you? thanks. And you? I'm fine. Welcome. Okay. Let's begin. Good evening. Today is June the 13th. This is class nine. And uh, to the topic is conditional sentences. We're going to be talking about conditional future conditions. So in the agenda, we have conditional sentences. Are you in love? I need a job and journeys and short answers. Okay. So let's begin with the first one. The objectives to make conditions, okay? To make conditionals, to discuss conditionals. And the second, to discuss why people fall in love. Okay, what pushes people to fall in love? All right, so that's going to be the other one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. We are three people, okay? We are three. Welcome aboard, Lisette. Okay. Conditional sentences, purpose to make future conditions. Listen to some possible consequences of getting a up. Check the statements uh, you agree with. Okay. Um, over here is, is an abbreviation that was not intentional. <laughs> it was not <laughs> intentional. Is the possible consequences of getting a high paying job. Teacher, what's a high paying job? A job that pays you well, okay, high paying job. So, high paying job, paid job. High paying job. Okay, if you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. You'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You'll be able to buy things you want. You might be on TV or in the newspaper. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. You'll be able to buy your parents a new car. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Which of these do you think are true? Not all of them are true. Which are true and which are false? Good Just one question. Yes, tell me. What is the meaning of loan? Oh, a loan. A loan is when, um, okay, you go to the bank and you ask at the bank, can you lend me $4,000? And they tell you, uh, let me see your record. And they start checking your record and they check how much money you make every month. Then they say, sure, we can give you $4,000 because your record is clean and you have a good salary. Okay, so uh, that, then they give you the money and you have to be paying for that money. That's a loan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, which of these results do you think are true? If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. Means you won't have to work as hard as you're working right now. Do you think that when you get a well-paying job, 
a high paying job, you don't have to work so hard? False. False. Yeah, absolutely false. You have to work more. Of course. I <laughs> you have to pay, you have to demonstrate why you are getting that salary. So false. What about the second? If you get a high paying job, you will be able to travel first class. For me, it's, it's okay. It's true, maybe. If you get, if you get in many, a lot of money, you can pay the first class. Yes, particularly if you have to travel. Uh, By plane. Because you're working, of course. Maybe it's possible. Hi, Miguelito. Good evening. Welcome on board. Okay. How about if you get a high paying job, you might have to pay higher taxes. It's true. Yeah. Yes, you pay more. It's true. Yes. You have to pay more. Mm -hmm. It's true. If you get a high paying job, you'll be able to donate more to charities. Yes, I think it's true. Yeah, you could, you could. But the problem if you want. <laughs> if you want. But you're able to. As if you want. There is a um, saying, the more you earn, the more you spend. The more yes. you earn, the more you spend. Okay. So, charities, what charities you say? I am in need. So the charity has to go to me, as people say, and then they don't donate to charities. Okay. However, it is always to remember the people, it is always good to remember the people who are suffering and try to help them. Maybe not through our, an organization, because many times we don't believe, we don't believe in organizations, but we believe in the necessity people have. So if we have someone near us, maybe in the street, you see that someone needs, we can help them, okay? If we pass in the, by the place every day, then we can give them clothing or food. Money, maybe not, because some people use it for drugs, alcohol, or other things. But clothing, and uh, maybe sometimes they sell the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's their option, no? Food is the, is the best option. The best option would be food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, if you get a high paying job, more people may want to be your friend. What do you think? Is it true or false? Maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. Your the family that you that never recognized you before will say, "Hey, my cousin, how are you?" Maybe. <laughs> but the thing is that the people who, when they get a better job, a high paying job, what they do is they start building walls to leave everyone out. They want to keep inside and leave everyone out to keep their distance. They say, no, you will talk to me because of my money. So the money becomes a barrier between them, friends and family, right? Unfortunately. What's the meaning of barrier? A barrier is a fence, a wall, something that separates, a division. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's true. So we can say that could be true. Someone said that if you go to a party and you pay for the drinks, you will have a lot of friends at the party. <laughs> exactly. 
But if you stop paying for the drinks, then they will be friends with the person who pays. <laughs> Someone, there, there are always people who want to drink for free, right? Okay, if you get a high paying job, you'll be able to buy things you want. It's true. Yeah, it's true. Many times it's true. People want to show how much they have by the things that they buy. For example, they buy bigger cars, bigger houses, and things that they don't need only to show that they have. I think that it's not necessary. What does a person need? Clothing, food, right? Clothing, food, and relationships with people. That's all that people need. People don't need uh, big houses, big cars. Okay. You need a car that moves you. And you need a house that protects you from the rain, keeps you dry, that's all. But then the rest, pure fantasy, right? It's mere fantasy. Because when we die, nothing of this goes with us, okay? And sometimes we look down on people because they don't have what we have. What we have is God-given. God gave it to us. So we shouldn't be proud of that, right? What about if you get a high paying job, you might be on TV or in the newspapers, true or false? False, not necessarily. Not necessarily, exactly. Correct, not necessarily. Only if you win the lottery and it's millions of dollars, you might appear in the newspapers or on TV, but because you are you have a good job, no. I know many people that have a good job working for the government. They make good money. They are in the assembly. <laughs> they are in the assembly. They were my classmates in uh, high school and they are in the assembly and uh, they don't appear on TV. Okay. Maybe only in the plenary, <laughs> only then, yes. But I see them and I say, hey, Trompito, how are you? No, don't call me Trompito. Now I am listening. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, come on, you're Trompito, okay? <laughs> I am a diputado, don't call me that. And they say, oh yes, excuse me, don't trumpito, right? <laughs> so, because, I mean, they were your friends and uh, now they, <laughs> they are different. Okay, if you get a high paying job, people will ask you for a loan. Do you think it's true? People will say, hey, you have money at the bank, can you lend me a thousand? <laughs> so yes, this is true. Now, if you get a high paying job, you'll have a lot of free time. It's false. False. If you have a high paying job, you will work more and even on weekends. So maybe not. So this would be false. What about if you get a high paying job, you'll be able to buy your parents a new car? It depends, but I think it's, no, it depends. It depends on what's the meaning of high paying job. Uh -huh. Because for you it's high, maybe for me it's not high, and people never have enough. And they say, no, first me, next me, and after what? After that, me. My parents, they can continue traveling by bus. They have traveled by bus all their lives. Besides, my dad cannot drive. My mom cannot drive. So let them continue taking the bus. So some people are like that. 
okay, if you get a high paying job, okay, you say like, you'll be able to buy your parents a new car. And we say this is false. You might be able to buy yourself a better car. Yes. Or if you didn't have a car, you might be able to buy a car. Yes. Okay. So notice next to if, next to if, the one that we call the condition, this is the one that we call the condition. We have present tense. No will, no could, no may, nothing. Only the verb. On the other side, after the comma, in the result, we have negative or affirmative will, might, okay, will again, okay, may, you'll be able to say might, will. So let's see some, some examples. Let's see some examples. Say like this. Um, let me see. I'm going to go to my board and I'm going to change. I'm going to change uh, color. Me? No, the of the pen. Okay. Check my units. Conditioners. Okay. See. If you meet the right person, you can get married. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. If you get the right person, in English, people call it Mr. Right. But uh, over here, because it can be for the girl, for a boy, or for a girl, I'm going to just leave it like that. If you meet the right person, you can get married. If you meet the right person, you may get married. Or you will get married. I have a friend who said, no, I will never get married. I don't believe in getting married. Okay. And she met the right person and she got married. So if you meet the right person, you can get married. Okay. Another example. You will get sick if you get wet, right? You will get sick if you get wet. Now that it's raining, you will get sick if you get wet. You may get sick if you get, if you get wet. You will get sick if you get wet. Yeah, okay. We want to say may or can. You can get sick if you get wet. Even it's possible to say might. You might get sick. You might get sick if you get wet. Why not? Okay. Another example. If you take a shower,
you will feel better. If you take a shower, you will feel better. What does a shower have that makes people feel better? I have no idea, no idea. But if you take a shower, you may feel better. You might feel better. You can feel better. Okay, so condition. You have one condition and then you have the result. Okay, if you eat a lot, you will what? Get fat. Get fat. <laughs> you eat a lot, you will put on weight. You will get fat. Okay, if you don't eat, what will happen? Mm. If you you will, sick. you will get sick or you will die. First, you will get sick. Eventually, you will die. Right? Okay. Like Karen Carpenter. Oh, like Karen Carpenter, one of my favorite singers. Her voice was beautiful. Beautiful. Too bad that she believed people. When somebody said, hey, you are fat. And that affected her for, for all her life. So, no, that is really bad. Okay, so let me see another one, easy. Um, if you eat pupusas tonight, What? If you eat pupusas tonight, you will be happy. <laughs> I don't know why people feel happy when they are eating something that they like, right? So if you eat pupusas tonight, you will feel happy. You will be happy, okay? So conditional sentence. Let's go to the exercise. I'm going to send you to the, to the rooms, we have this and this that you're going to be doing, okay? Wow, 20. There would be two. Okay, only remember, next to if we have the verb, the present tense. On the other side, we have will, can, may, right? So I'm going to give you the example. If I go out tonight, I will go to the cinema. Yeah, if I go out tonight, I will go to the cinema, okay? Somewhere else, no. If I go out tonight, I will go to the cinema, that case. Okay, so my dear ones, if you get back late, I will be angry. If you get back late, I will be angry. Okay, so let's go to the groups and let's do it. Uh, I sent this one, let me see, on Sunday, right? Or was it on Saturday? No, on Saturday. So you have it in the WhatsApp. Okay, let's, let's go to the groups. How many people are we present today? Thirteen, including me. So it means that we are twelve. Three groups of no, four groups of three. Yeah, or four groups of three. What do you prefer? Three groups of four or four groups of three? Four groups of three. Four groups of three. Okay. Okay, doctor. Let's then. Let's be. The groups are opening. So let's join.
Hello. Hello, hello. Good night. You ready? Hola. Hola, hola, ¿me escuchan? Sí. Yes. Yo sí. Ok, ok. Eso vamos a hacer. Sí. Yes. Number one is result. Number two, me too. Number three. Practice o, o vamos a formular la, la condición. Ok, ahí estaba la condición. Sí, la vamos a formular. Okay. La primera, ¿cómo quedaría? If, if I go, I, I, if I go out tonight, I will get to the cinema. Go. I will go. I will go to cinema. I will go to cinema. Okay. Number two. Number two. <clears throat> If you get bad late, I will be angry. Yes. ¿Qué número es esa? Ah, la, la number two. Number two. I will be angry. Yes. Tres. This we see each other Which each other Nikki. Voy yo con la cuarta. If he come, I will be surprised. Sí. Yo voy con la cinco. If we wait here, we will be late. La sexta. If we go on holiday this summer. We will go to Spain. Voy con la siete. If the weather not improve, we will not have a picnic. Voy yo con la ocho. If I do not go to bed early, I will be tired tomorrow. And I mean, if we eat all this cake, we will feel sick. La diez. If you not want to go out, I will cook dinner at home. La once. I 
uh, I will come early if you want. Doce. They go to the party if they will be invited. Okay. Yo con la trece. She stay in London if she will get a job. Uh, la catorce. Sorry, my friends. Remember that next to if, you have the present. On the other side, you have will. So, uh, that one with London oh. is the opposite. Right? Okay. La catorce. Uh, he won't get a better job if he doesn't pass that exam. Exactly. He won't get a better job if he doesn't pass that exam. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. So we say he, uh, they won't go to the party if they aren't, or they, they will go to the party if they are invited. Mm -hmm. Okay. In este caso, we will. En la ocho. Siete. Siete. Mm, if the weather not improve, we won't have a picnic. Yeah. The weather doesn't improve. Doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't improve because it's present tense. The weather doesn't improve. We won't go on. A, we won't have a picnic. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, it's because he's third person, right? Okay. If the weather doesn't improve, we won't have a picnic. Oh, yes. Yeah. In the next, if I don't go to the bed early, I will be tired tomorrow. Yes. If yes. I, if, I yes. if I don't go to bed, mm -hmm. I don't. In eight, if if I not or I don't, I don't say I don't. don't. Okay. In the next, if we ate all this cake, we will be, we will feel sick. In present tense. If we eat, if we eat all this cake, no. feel sick. In ten is if you don't want to go out. I will cook dinner at home. Sí, ahí parece que no. Aquí está. Teacher. 
ayuda, me podría ayudar en la 11 que, que tenemos que poner porque como que la vemos completa. No. La 11. You remember, this is in 11. You have, I will come early if you want. I will come early if you want. So, will, mm -hmm. I will come early if you want. Uh -huh. So, on, okay. this side, on this side, you will use will because this is the first 10, first 10, they begin with if. The second 10, they begin with the other part. The if. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. If you want, I will come near. Exactly. And on these ones, all will be like, if they are invited, if she gets a job, if he doesn't pass the exam, if I have enough money, if you go to the supermarket, if they have time, if we don't hurry, if it rains, or if you don't come with me. Mm -hmm. Then the others will. In the first part, we start the sentence with if, and the second part with the consequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Entonces, I will come early if you want. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Qué interesante. Estamos bien, bien, como se llama, directo. <laughs> <laughs> they could, they can go to the party if they, no, they can, no, they, they may go to the party if they be invited. If they are invited, if they are invited, B has to be conjugated, if they, if they are invited. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, it's true. They will go to the party if they are invited. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Yo sí ya estoy confundido. They... If they go to the party yeah. if they are invited. They go to the party. They are invited. They are invited. Uh -huh. She stay in London if she gets a job. Gets a job. I solo get. She stay in London if she gets a job. She could be in London if she gets a job. She will stay. She will stay in London. She will stay in London if she gets a job. We will mm -hmm. stay. You finish, my dear ones. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Good. Okay. In a moment, we're going to go back to the main group. Okay.
You finish, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, in a moment, we will go back to the main group. Okay, teacher. She won't give. Okay. I will buy a new dress if I have enough money. Yep. In the next is she will cook dinner if you go to the supermarket. They will go on holiday if they have time. In the next one, we will be late if we don't hurry. She will take a uh, taxi if, uh, if it rain. Yes. Uh, I won't, I won't go if you, in this case, does, don't, 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 don't you come don't. with me. Yes. Yes, it would Okay, next step. We finished this ones. Here yes. we, we began no. if, and here if was in the middle, right? So we go to the next, the next step. The next step is we have to think like the Chinito here. The Chinito is thinking. Okay, so we need to complete with a uh, our own ideas. Example, if I get up early tomorrow, oh, I get go to work on time. Uh -huh. If I get up early tomorrow, I will get to work on time. Okay. So, uh, we have to think about the others, how we can complete them. Notice that the second is if in the middle. I will get sick if if I eat that food. I will get sick if I eat that food. I'm allergic to that. So I will get sick if I eat that food. Okay, 
Now you have 12, no, 13. I'm going to give you number three so you don't say teacher 13. If you if are, teacher help me, uh -huh. I could finish my homework. I can finish my homework, yes, and my sister helps me. I can finish, let's say I will finish my homework early. If my sister helps me, I will finish my homework. Okay. okay, now let's go back to the groups and do this with your own ideas. Remember that here you have an, an, an a illimited number or unlimited number of options. An unlimited number of options. Okay, here we go. Page seven, page seven. Eric, you are in number three, okay. ¿Qué pasó? Hola, teacher. Hello, my friend. Me salí, me salí, me salí del grupo. ¿Qué pasó? No, you are in the, in the group. No. With Kevin and Lisette. Um, Lisette, yes. My mom will be angry if I do not turn down the TV. If I study very hard, if I study very hard, I will get a, a good qualification. The vintage. Good. Grades. Good grades. Grades. Great. If I study very hard, I will get good grades. Next. Mm. My real boss will promote me if I work hard. If I win the lottery, I will be rich. Dale la próxima, Julio. Yeah, uh, I will get a better job if I, I will get a better job 
if I look for one, <laughs> I will get a better job if I look for one. If I, if I get tired, trabajo extra por un ejemplo, no sé. Pero aquí porque si no sería como aquí me queda, la, me queda la duda por qué dos veces. Uy, no. ah, yo creo que ahí es un error. Porque no tiene mucho sentido. My will, boss will promote me if. Para mí es my boss will promote me. Yeah, there is a mistake. It's a mistake. <laughs> my boss will promote me. Yeah. <laughs> If I win the lottery, I will make a donation. Yes. In my case, if I win the lottery, I will be rich. It's in El Salvador, no? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but it's in the USA. In the USA, yes. yes. Canada. <laughs> because there yeah. are 98 million. <laughs> yeah. 90 million, 98 million. Yeah, you're, you're, you're rich. But <laughs> Yeah. Maybe 125,000. But that, no. is, that is not rich. No. That's not rich. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's better than now, but rich. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, but my idea is in the US. Yo tengo una duda. En la número 8. I will get a better job if I continue study. No sé si está bien, está correcta. Yeah. Number 8. I will get a better job. I study hard. If, if I continue a study. If I finish my studies. Oh. Uh -huh. If I finish my studies. Because if you continue your studies, you will not have time to work so much. So probably you will not get a better job. You will get a job, a better job after you finish your studies. Right? Because then you get the qualification. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So if you say, I will get a better job if I finish uh, my university degree, for example, or if I finish my career. Uh, yeah. yes. Okay. Or other idea, teacher, is uh, I will get a better job if I study very hard. Um, or ya no podría usar better. better. Okay, so um, yes, but it's not like um, I mean, 
many people, many people study very hard and they are very good students, but they don't get a better job. Many yeah. people, many people are very bad students, but they finish university and they get the carton, <laughs> the qualification, yeah. and then they get a better job. Not because they were, they studied harder or because they were better. No, but because they have the diploma. Mm -hmm. That is what the companies want to see. And that's what gives them a better job. Mm -hmm. The qualification, yeah. that they, not the qualifications that you have, because maybe you are very good, but if a paper doesn't say that you are very good, you don't get a better job. Um, yeah. Yeah. That is our sad reality, right? Mm -hmm. I will get a better job if I move to the United States. Maybe. 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 Mm -hmm. Taste teacher. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yo, yo ya logré terminar la plataforma porque como tanto que a mí solo las cinco me falta. Okay. Mm -hmm. My friends, yo, yeah. finish page finish. seven. Page seven. Page seven. No. Page seven is lo que acabamos de trabajar. Uh -huh. This one. Ya terminamos. You finished, okay. Sí, you finished. Good, excellent. Okay. If you finished. <laughs> you can go home. <laughs> How nice. <I'm> go <laughs> finish, you can, if you have finished, you can go home. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> and you say teacher we are at home already <laughs> okay yeah in a moment we're going to finish so if you that one i'm going to close the group now and we go and do the last one okay page eight yeah we're going to We will do page eight. Okay. So match. 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 Okay. How do we say? If you get a high paying job, what? You might get bored? <laughs> no. What do you say? The one? Yes. Uh, Which one do you connect it with? Number one. With letter D. You won't have to work as hard. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes. I don't agree, but it's correct. Okay. Number two. If you don't have to work as hard, what? You have, you will have, yes, a lot of free time. Yes, letter E. Which is not real, not real, but okay. If you have a lot of free, if you have a lot more free time, sorry, I matched it. 
someone, right? It's E. <laughs> you may be, you may get bored. Yeah, this one is wrong. You get bored. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if you have a lot of free time, you may get, you may feel more relaxed. Nah, you might get bored, right? Yes, I guess. You're right. Okay. If you get bored, what? Letter B, you may have to look for a learn job. Exactly. Yeah. You may have to look for another job because you're bored in that job. Okay. If you get lost in a big city, what happens? You may want to take a taxi for your hotel. Yes. Exactly. Let's see. Yeah. Six. If you eat less sugar, you might feel healthier. You might feel healthier. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to stop here because of time. I need to go to the other class. So okay. uh, tomorrow we're going to check, continue from here and check this part, okay? Okay, so, okay. okay teacher. My Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care, my friend. Thank you for joining. Okay, good night. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night.